Hi guys, okay, so clearly I have the same shirt on because I am filming two videos in the same day. I'm trying to film as much as possible while the kids are out like playing and like doing other stuff because it's actually quiet and my husband's out in the garage so I don't have to hear him making all kinds of noise also. So I wanted to film my pregnancy vlog for weeks 25 through 26. I'm going into my 20, well, when this goes up, I will be in going into my 28th week almost. So I figured um, now that I'm getting ready to go into the third trimester, I will try and film um, at least like two or three weeks at a time instead of like huge gaps like I was before. But like I said before, there wasn't really a lot going on. Or I didn't want to, you know, post videos every single week and with the same thing. So this week I have experienced the swelling of the feet and ankles. Um, mainly it was because we took a really long cross country trip, kind of like a, a last vacation type thing um, from Florida to Vegas. Just so we can sightsee and all that jazz before the baby comes because we probably won't be getting like a vacation um you know right away so we did that and it was a lot of sitting and a lot of driving so my feet like ballooned and um when i got back i went to the doctor and you know obviously got checked out to make sure that everything was okay and it was fine it was just when you're which is weird you know you think sitting staying off of your feet you wouldn't you know you wouldn't swell but you do and so yeah it was basically most of the swelling was from just sitting for a really long period of time so i suggest if you're going on some sort of long-term trip to make sure you like get out walk around stretch do that kind of thing so that way you're not like super ballooned you don't have like giant balloon feet this week i got my papers so that um i can go and do my glucose test so i'll be doing that in about two three weeks two and a half about two and a half weeks because my today is the 19th and i will be june 19th and i will be doing our we will be doing our 40 ultrasound um july 3rd so i will be about 30 weeks then almost so um that's pretty exciting we wanted to do it around the time where she was you know still small enough for us to be able to see like everything she was kind of doing but big enough to where she you know looked pretty much like what she's gonna look like when she comes out so i will be doing my glucose test that day as well in the morning um so we will see how that goes but as far as anything else like my blood pressure um everything has to come back you know fine everything's good and she's kicking and moving and punching and just really going crazy in there so she's doing quite well um she i noticed that she is awake a lot more well actually i don't really know because i feel like she's awake during the day in the afternoon at night time in the wee hours of the morning like i feel like she doesn't really have like a kind of like a regular sleep schedule to where I'm like oh she's sleeping or oh she's awake it's kind of like she's awake for a majority majority of the time like in the later out in the later hours like 1 2 3 a.m slows down a little bit you know in the early in like the later morning like 6 7 whatever and then around like nine she'll wake up again she'll be really active for a while and then it kind of goes like that so I guess she kind of has a pattern but it's she's awake for a lot of time and kicking and moving and just like yeah i've also been having like um a weird like hip pain i guess like i'm guessing it's my hips like it's kind of like my inner thigh like hip area like i don't really know like on my right side like when i stand up it like really hurts like I don't know but it's I guess because of the stretching I'm getting bigger and I'm going into the third trimester like I guess my body's just getting prepared and it's just the right side is preparing more than the left side or I don't really know but um yeah so that that has been like a real pain with like getting up and standing and walking because I'm trying to get as much like exercise and movement in as possible because it's you know good for you to kind of move around um but then i also need to elevate my feet and stuff right now with the swelling so that i can go down fully um because it hasn't gone down all the way 
um but other than that i haven't really had any other like huge symptoms or like any like weird changes um i haven't eaten a lot not i haven't eaten a lot but i have like my appetite hasn't like it's not a like, huge anymore like it used to be it kind of goes in like spurts so like it's you know if i feel like it if i'm hungry then i have to eat like around the time that i'm hungry because if i don't then i won't be hungry anymore and then it'll just be you know wasted food um so sometimes i can eat a lot sometimes i eat like a little like it just kind of depends um i gained a hundred and no a hundred, wow um i am 168 pounds as of today um i am two pounds up from last month um and as of right now i have gained 20 I was 136 pre-pregnancy and currently I'm 168 so I've gained about 20 something pounds as of right now but like I feel like I gained a lot of weight in the beginning and like now it's just kind of like dwindling on as I get um further along so yeah um I think that's just kind of how my body does it I don't I don't really know with this pregnancy I feel like with my other pregnancies it was kind of like a gradual weight gain and then I just kind of ballooned at the end and now this one it's kind of like I gained a majority of my weight in the beginning and now it's just kind of like you know ticking along which you know either way whatever it's it's gonna come regardless so there's no point in fighting it <laughs> um and yes before um people have asked I, I I can bleach my hair the way I do it I don't do it excessively and I um make sure that I'm very safe with the things that I'm doing with my body and hair and all that jazz and my doctor is perfectly fine with it I did not start dyeing my hair or anything like that until I was in my second until I was like a little later in my second trimester just to be on the safe side like I, I don't really do much in my first trimester just so I can you know make sure everything's okay and things like that but then after that like everything that I do I make sure that I can do it like I'm not just like yeah I'm just gonna do whatever I want like no uh, I've had two you know children so I kind of know already the things that I can and can't do and things that my body can and can't handle so yeah I always consult with my doctor so no I'm not damaging or ruining my kid or anything it's not gonna come out with like one arm or something because I bleached my hair like calm down 26 and a half week belly shot from the side from the front and from the side again and from my, there she is just in there it's my pregnancy belly ring just kind of moving around But there she is in all of her belly glory. I usually wear my, um, sometimes I wear it up and then sometimes I won't. But yeah, that's what it looks like with the little pregnancy belly band. But yeah. So that is it for this update and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.